Hi right, guys, Mark Stowe here, Stowe's Window Cleaning, as some of you know, more than a window cleaner. As it's Mental Health Awareness Week, I'd thought I'd share with you uh, my experience with um, depression. I was 17 stroke 18, and my peers at the time said, I think you better go to the doctors, you seem depressed. And of course, you go to the doctors and you say that, and they go, yep, you are, and here's some medication. But for me, um, depression wasn't it an excuse to give up on life but ultimately gave me a reason to create one um, I just remember I was on the tablets for probably about six months I think thereabouts and um, I just remember one day looking around at the people that are around me sort of people I was socializing with and associating with and I thought you know what none of these people are really contributing to me coming out of this if anything you know, holding me back so I decided to take some action I dropped everyone that I didn't feel was was nourishing and I took the tablets I sprayed them with some like a box of tablets and I, I sprayed them with um, Lynx Africa and uh, set a fire to the tablets and I literally just watched them burn and as they were burning so are my negative thoughts and I just thought, right, this is a clean slate. What do I want from here? What do I want from life? I mean, don't get me wrong, depression isn't something that you have. It's not tangible, it's not physical. I can't just say, well, this depression, I've got this depression, it's pretty heavy, can you hold it for a minute? <laughs> it's not that, it's within you, it's a state of mind, it's your perspective, it's a lot of things on life, how you feel about your life going forward, especially. Um, so at that moment, I decided, okay, well, what do I want from life? I'm not talking about like, mansions and Ferraris, but I'm talking about how do I want to feel in life? Uh, who do I want to be around that's going to make me feel a certain way too? Um, and that really changed everything for me and everything that I wanted to uh, sort of achieve at that moment, I went on to do quite quickly. I was quite surprised. It was almost like literally a switch. And don't get me wrong. I think for me, depression is almost like a weed, a weed in the garden. It's something that you do have to stay on top of. Um, if you if you just let it do its thing, it will creep back in and overtake your garden. But if you're if you're willing to put in the work um, and sort of dig it out, you can keep it at bay and ultimately enjoy a nice life. So that's my experience on it. That's my take on it. Um, if anyone is, I don't want to say suffering, but if anyone's out there that's not feeling too good and just wants someone to talk to no obligations um, by all means send me a message privately and uh, I'll see if I can help you anyway I hope you're doing well and I'll speak to you all very soon